really think that Frostmoth is a Pokemon that uh, is kind of slept on. It gets a really, really good ability in Ice Scales, right? So this Pokemon is protected by Ice Scales, which have the damage taken from special moves, right? Have the damage taken from special moves. Also, so we have like really, really big HP specialty investment. On top of that, we're also going to be holding an Assault Vest. So like someone's going to come at us and they're going to like dazzle and gloom us with their, they're going to like hyper voice with their Sylveon and they're going to do like a hot 10%. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Can we beat Charizard with Frostmoth? That's the question, right? That's the real question. How much damage can we mitigate? It's probably just going to go for Tailwind plays. I think you can wait the Tailwind out. Like, Whimsicott Zard is super, super aggressive. But we'll see what we can get done. Can you talk through your Frostmoth build? Yeah, I've talked about it earlier. Um, but it is a full HP special defense build with both the ice scales and the uh, assault vest. So like, we could probably just eat like a fire attack. Like we ate like three max flares and a mystical fire from a Sylveon earlier. That was pretty good. It uses speed control with icy wind, struggle bug for special attack control, air slash for flinch potential or airstreams if I want to do it. Let's see if it's Charizard. All right, all right, chat. I'm just gonna do it. I kind of just want to Dynamax it just to do it. Do I, do I do it? How funny would that be though? It would lose me the game, right? It would just lose me the game to do it. But you know what? If I set the airstream, my Raichu can then, I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'll do it, I'm doing it. <laughs> Yo, Charizard, come at me, bro. Come at me with your max wildfire. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna put an airstream up on my right you. I'm gonna set some screens. I'm gonna volt switch you. This is gonna be funny. This is gonna be holy. I, yeah, I bet you're, bet you're quaking your boots right now. You, There's no reason for you to protect your whimsicott. What? I call BS. Are you trying to break my screens, huh? Nah, nah, nah. That's why I'm not setting them. All right, let's see it. All right, if my frost, he wait, he's not maxing. Okay. Big frost moth energy. Let's go. This Pokemon looks so cool as a Maxmon too. Probably one of the coolest looking Maxmons in the game. Protect Charizard. Yo, what about Encore? You don't care about Encore? I'm gonna mess up, you, Mr. Rhyme Chief. I'm gonna mess you up. This guy's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, let me think about it. I kind of want to slam in a flutter by. Because that's be the Mr. Rhyme now, probably. Like, I can go light screen and go for a flutter by into the Mr. Rhyme. It's super effective. And then you would lose that ability and then you wouldn't KO me. Let's go. Now you're gonna max that Zard. I wonder if my Frostmoth still outspeeds the Zard. I probably don't, because it's probably timid. We'll see though, one Airstream boost. Raichu outspeeds it, except that big light screen. I, I wanna see how much damage this actually does. Like, I wanna see. I wanna see if his Mr. Rhyme's also protecting or fake outing. It's probably fake outing, right? Yeah, that's okay. All right, so we are still gonna be able though to get off this Mr. Rhyme. Oh, he's outspeeding us. All right, we're dead. Probably. Can we live? Just live. Just live. <laughs> it doesn't do shit. Kusha's dropping the big sub. That's four times super effective. Four. And he's orbed. And now he has a special attack drop. Frostmoth is better than Charizard. What is that damage mitigation? What are weaknesses, chat? What even are weaknesses? I'm, t I'm taking more damage from the freaking Sea of Flames. Yeah, I can eat another one. He could, he might go for like a Sunny Day play into it. But like, I think Raichu... If he goes for Sunny Day, Raichu sets Light Scream. I remember he has a stat drop. So he's gonna go for Tailwind, I'm sure. Do I want to Flutter by again? I want to get the Airstream off. To make it so my Raichu can go for... I don't think I need to airstream again. I think Flutterby is fine. This would just KO it. So I'm going to do the KO. Yeah. 
That's some bulk. Max guard, pog. Go for tailwind. I don't give a shit. I'm k you right now. Light screens up. Screens for days. Frostmoth popping it off. Oh my gosh. Now let's see. You have your title? You have the title for my title and main clip for my stream tomorrow? What do you mean? This? I don't know if I use this team tomorrow. This was just kind of a one-up stream. So we're going to be able to KO that Wim Scott. Wim Scott down. He has a tailwind up. But I have a light screen. I still have two mons in the back. That's Charizard's also at minus one. It's probably one of the, this is probably one of the best flutter by clips you're ever going to see. Take that hail damage. Yeah, I can kill that thing with Pult now. Oh, this isn't going up on YouTube tomorrow. Tomorrow's YouTube video features uh, Hidden Ability G-Max and Teleon. Or sorry, D-Max. Hidden Ability Sniper and Teleon. Alright, so he still outspeeds us. There's the Lucario. Okay. Hmm. It's possible I outspeed Lucario with my Frostmoth, actually. Oh, I still have really good Pokemon in the back, too. I don't think it's worth it to go for the Volt Switch. I think you might just want to pop the Reflect and let these mons go down. And go for an Icy Wind. You think about that. Yeah. Let's go. Can Frost Mop with it? G Max Wildfire? Who are you hitting, G? You hit the right target, I think. 3 HP, baby! Let's go! And you're orbed! And you're weak? Rock Slide? Oh no. Alright, we did. You know what? We, we had a good run. That's a fast, that's a fast car on that tailwind. Alright. So Frost Moth goes down. Finally! Well, I really wanted that reflect though. Alright, so let's see how I actually get this off. I think I just want to target a Phantom Force into the, uh... Hey, I think just targeting a Phantom Force into the Zard is probably the right play, because it can KO after the Life Orb plus, like, Hail Ticks. And then I'll kind of just go for a Deep Wing. Hmm. Can't believe Frostmoth just fucking tanked that move. That's so good. Ooh, Dive would be really good too. It would Dive would KO for sure, but Phantom Force goes through Protect, which I think he does. Have. Oh, he already used Protect, so yeah, he has to have it. Yeah, Dazzling plus a Hail Tick, and then a Phantom Force should be able to KO. He is going to outspeed us, right? But I think we'll be fine. Be funny if my Quick Claw went off. Beat up. Yeah, I knew he had it. I knew he had beat up Zard. I knew it. I felt it in my bones, chat. Yeah, we just lost, I think. Damn it! I knew- I called it in the team preview! Oh, man. He can miss a rock slide. Like, four times. I don't see how much damage he still does. Meteor Mash would commit- Oh my gosh, he missed. We win. Yeah, beat ups kinda sucks when, um... <laughs> beat up is bad when... How do I even explain it? When well, you only have two mods left using Meteor Mash now. Let me think about what I want to do. So, I, the Zard is gone. Ow. Oh. Meteor Mash will kill my Okremi. Light Screen's still up for a while. Tailwind, the last turn. So we're probably gonna, I think the right play is just to... It's not to recover. It's not to encore. It's not to decorate. It's just a D gleam. Because Zard's gonna get killed by Pulp, and then we're gonna get a single target D gleam plus Hail. He wasn't gonna do shit. Look at this. Look, it's not doing shit. Look, watch. Is that a crit? That's a crit. Through my light screen, through his special attack trap. So that sucks. Okay, so I go down to. Well, he would have killed there anyways. Then I didn't get my quick claw. But I do think we win. Because we're going to KO with Zard this turn. Bam. And then all I got to do is KO that Lucario. Plus two Lucario. You, do you have Bullet Punch, Chief? Bullet Punch might KO me from here. We've seen Meteor Mash. You got Bullet Punch, Chief? Motors Realist, how's it going? Phantom Force. Show me that BP. 
still can catch your stream daily. I mean, I stream every day. I upload YouTube videos every day. Let's see it. Come on. Come on, don't bullet punch. You can have e-speed, but I'm a ghost type. Phantom Force. Oh, we got him. Chat, we did. Chat! Unless he uses dig. Okay, I was gonna be like, bro, don't you dare. I'll take it. I'll take the value. What's he gonna use? I can't believe we won this game. We we tried we almost tried to lose leading that Frostmoth into Charizard. And I'm like, Frostmoth busted. I just ate your wildfire and it did like 40%. Mm. This guy's gonna be hard to de beat though. I don't think that like our team's actually necessarily made to deal with this type of stuff. Because Togekiss can stop our follow me's, right? Um, Togekiss can definitely stop the follow me's. Um, I can try and trade screens with him. Actually, the only real good thing here is that Frostmoth is like really, really decent at dealing with like Lapras. Can also kind of deal with Togekiss. We get like some speed drops. I will probably try and go Frostmoth. I think Frostmoth right shoe is good because I can set screens. I think I want to bring my Alcremi to stop Sleep Powders and then we probably bring the Dragapult. Yeah, let's try this. How do you know what Pokemon are leading in certain teams? That's a great question. I've actually talked about that in multiple videos. The way it works is you have to know what your team does. Your team, you have to be very familiar and very comfortable with the vibe that your team gives off. You have to say, my team does this. Uh, knowing what it does, knowing what your strengths are, means you should know what your weaknesses are as well. So you should be knowing what your opponent's going to try to do to capitalize on what your weaknesses are, right? So my team, right, I have Dragapult as my main damage dealer, right? So they're probably going to go with things that put pressure on a Dragapult because that's the only real Pokemon I have that can, you know, um, win me the game. Right, so Togekiss is really good against Dragapult. Incineroar is really good against Dragapult. Uh, Lapras is pretty good against Dragapult. Trick Room is pretty good against Dragapult. So I know they're going to be overplaying into my Dragapult. So I don't even have to bring the Dragapult. Do you see the situation that I'm in? Um, I can just go for screens. And I can, I can set a light screen and a struggle bug, and I will laugh at this person. So that's one way. And every single team, you guys, yeah, I think a lot of you guys take that for granted that I play with so many different teams that I have to know all those matchups for every single team. Yo, I loved your I loved your team last game. How do you have G-Max Venusaur? How do you have G-Max Venusaur? Now, the guy, the guy in chat right now is the guy that we played that had G-Max Venusaur. He's gonna go Lapras. So we're gonna be able to get a Struggle Bug up and a Light Screen. There's possibilities that the Lapras is faster than my Frostmoth. Probably not. Um, we have about 5 base speed on it and we have about 28 points in speed. So I'd love to get a Light Screen and a Struggle Bug. That'd be super nice. Struggle Bug? Oh, gee. So yeah, this, this resonance is going to do like no damage. It might do like half to my Raichu. Resonance. Let's see it. Let's see it. It's going to do like half, right? Yeah, not even. You see that damage mitigation. That is absolutely massive. I don't care if you Trick Room. It really doesn't matter. I'm not probably going to Volt Switch the Lapras though. Trick Room, go for it. Hope you see in future VGCs. I mean, I play in all formats. I'm not, we're not calling him a super cheater. I just want to know how he got it. That's all. I kind of want to like, as weird as this sounds, let me know what you guys like. What if I want like Icy Wind? Nah, you can't Ice Wind your teammate. That'd be too busted. I'm just going to Struggle Bug again. And I'll switch in my Alcremi. I can just both switch and soak a little bit more damage, bringing Alcremi in safely. Like, what's he going to do? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't want Alcremi to take that. Geyser. I think Raichu lives. Max. Raid Dens. It's not out, though. It's not out yet. So, like, you can't get it. Hmm. Can you scary face your own opponent? Blah. So this is a decent damage. You do not want to hit the Lapras with this with the Volt Switch. It wouldn't be doing nearly enough damage, and we could potentially proc a policy, which is how you lose. 
So we use Nightshade and that. I'm thinking about just using Recover here. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and wait him out a little bit. If I, if I Quick Claw my Recover here, that's lame. But like, if I Quick Clawed most of these moves, that'd still be lame. I think Recovering one turn. Yeah, let's we'll see. Don't Quick Claw, please. Please don't Quick Claw. Thank goodness. Awesome. That doesn't do shit. And so you see, like, we're eventually going to actually get to a good spot because the Lapras can't restore health. And that's his last turn Dynamax. I still have not Dynamax. I can start using a... I can probably actually get away with, like, using one Decorate this turn. You can Scary Face Grim your own Mon, I think. Um, but the thing is, it's like, most Mons, like, you can't proc a competitive like that. You can proc a contrary. So Lapras is super weak now. Um, let me actually think if Struggle Bug is still the play. Like, is he going to switch the Lapras out? Like, I don't need to Icy Wind. I really don't need to Air Slash or Air Stream. I think Struggle Bug is still fine. And I am going to actually decorate this turn. So he's probably going to switch in Dracovish, is what I'm thinking. Will O'Wisp, that's fine. So, Will O'Wisp, Nightshade, Trick Room. Thunder. Okay. I mean, you can't paralyze my uh, Frost Moth. Oh, you like that Thunder? That 4 HP Thunder. 4 big HP. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Chief. Again, I really don't want to proc a policy, and we can kind of just wait out his uh, screens. Sorry, we can kind of just wait out his... Uh, what is it? What the hell is that thing? Uh, resonance? Minus four special attack. All right, last turn of Trick Room. So we probably want to like... Yeah. Frost Mob busted, you know it. You know it. I think plus four. So I think we're gonna do like 10 to 15% here. We didn't get a, we got, we, we have not gotten a single quick off rock yet, but I think we're going to do 10 to 15% with this Hailstorm. We're going to take away the ring, and we're going to make it so it's Hail. And then from there, um, I think we're going to be pretty good. I don't know how... Like, I'm afraid of the Draco Bush coming out in the back, so maybe I should have Airstreamed, but, like, I would need two Airstreams. And I just kind of want to stop the Dragapult. Sorry, I want to stop the Dust Cops so my Dragapult can be the game. Well, let's go for it. Like, that's completely fine. I'd rather actually be burned than, like, you hitting me with Thunders and shit. I'd much rather that happen. I mean, that's not gonna do shit. This is gonna do like 10%. Yeah. Nice damage. I'm gonna take more damage from Hail. Oh, is that a crit? Oh, we take those big crits. It has to be a crit, right? Yeah, it goes through the resonance. I'll take it. So this is the last turn of the Trick Room 2. So Trick Room Dunzo. His Lapras is at minus four. Do you guys see like how good of a matchup this is versus Lapras though? Just using Frostmoth. My Frost Moth is now at plus four. I can, and I completely played around the fact that he could have weakness policy. Uh, he's, he's probably going to be sending out the Dracovish, I would I would imagine. But I don't think Dracovish one-shots you. I feel like you're at full health like I am. I'm, I'm pretty healthy. Four Bills Dunzoed. Twist Dimension's good. So yeah, he's not Light Clay, so that means he's probably weakness policy. He's been wanting me to proc it this whole time. And I can one-shot his Dracovish from here with probably both my mods might be able to. Butterfree. Okay, now we're, we're golden. Uh, let me think about how I want to deal with this. I'm probably just going to go after the Butterfree with an Airstream, actually. And I might as well just use Dazzle in case he wants to switch in the uh, Dracovish. Let's see it. Quick Claw proc here would be pretty nice, too. Just because it would guarantee you get the Butterfree off the board before like Hurricane could come in and confuse me. And like I said, being burned here is a blessing. Uh, he can't use any status moves. Like, I can't get put to sleep some Sweet Bale, but, like, he can't paralyze me with those Thunders. And I think that's the real value. I'm gonna laugh he tries to use Sleep Powder anyways. Yeah, he's switching Dracovish. It's almost like a play the game chat. Conkle there. Same thing. Am, am I wrong, though? Am I wrong? Same thing. 
that big fairy weakness. Know what I'm talking about, know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. Butterfree protect. All right, cool. That's fine. This is gonna. You might still die, actually. <laughs> like it's plus four. Plus four. I wonder if the conk has wide guard. Probably gonna switch over and take out the conk next turn. Big frost moth energy. That's uh, that's within dazzling for sure. I would love to get a quick claw proc done this turn because quick claw would finish off the butterfree because he's probably gonna rage powder it. Yeah, he's probably gonna rage powder. Um, yeah, it's probably just fine to go for the airstream boost still. Yeah, I think we're I think we're fine. Give me my quick claw. Reasonable mistake. You do know that I say thousands of words a stream. Literally thousands, and I stream like every day. A slip of the tongue, now and then, is not that big of a deal. I w I would hate to get like rock slid. So like, if I don't get my quick claw proc, he uses rage powder. I uh, have to airstream into that slot instead. I think actually Alchemy's faster than me, so I think we're still fine. Yeah, Alchemy's out, yeah. We got the quick call anyways. I was gonna say Alchemy's faster than me anyway, so it doesn't really matter what he's using, even if it is Rage Powder. So anyways, quick claw, we take those. Give me that value. And now across cross is big fast. Big fast. I just love to see it. This match was great. Yeah, a lot of the matches with Frostmoth is, uh, have been pretty good. It just took me a day to like learn how to play the team, I think. You just have to be really, really patient. Like a lot of players that a lot of players that play like that TR Lapras game, like I'm pretty sure he's policy, but like they want you to tunnel. Like I talked about it in the team preview. Uh, someone asked, like, how do I know what my opponent's gonna do? It's like I know what my team says and it does. I know they're gonna bring the correct Pokemon to beat my Dragapult. Which I didn't even have to use. You just gotta learn how to play patient. All right, I want to see how much. I want to actually see if it is a weakness policy set. So like, I'm gonna go for Big Drain because I, I want to see it. And I will also go for the. I'm just gonna go for the decorate as well. Give me that quick claw decorate. I always want quick claw decorate. Damn it, they never give it to me. They never give it to me. Yeah, quick claw's pretty good. Alchemy's pretty good. Frostmoth, pretty good. Pretty good. So let's see. Going into this game, Vanillux is really weird here, considering there's like Venusaur and Cineroar. Double fake outs. We both have double fake outs with Raichu and Cineroar. I wonder if I can speed creep that. There's also an entity. This guy's team's really, really hard on making that Inteleon work. So I think Frostmoth's going to be very good. I think Frostmoth is just absolutely amazing in this matchup. We are definitely going to be leading with it. Um, I want to lead with like Frostmoth and a Pokemon that can pin their Incineroar. I think I'm actually going to go Frostmoth and my Incineroar. And I'm going to hope that I can... Actually, I can go Frostmoth Raichu and just set a screen. And then I can bring like Vaporeon on the back in case they want to go big Incineroar. And I should probably bring my Dragapult. Uh, I really do like Alcremi here, but it's gonna be a little bit hard to make that one work. Do I want my Incineroar? Actually, I do want my Incineroar for my Vaporeon, don't I? I just talked about how cool Vaporeon is, though. But you, yeah, it's it's correct. You want to go Incineroar instead. There we go. Let's go. Final finish organized my box. It took me hours, but goodness, it was so worth. Thanks for the inspiration, your video. Yo, you're welcome. I think everyone should uh, fix their boxes in preparation for. Uh, the DLC coming out might be a pretty good idea. But Shaft Master, thank you so much for that big sub. Always a pleasure to have you here, my friend. How's it going today? I've got the Parish Song Lifebird vid queued up to watch. That was a good team. I like that team a lot. So Entity of, what is it, Inteleon. I think this is fine. So we can't go for like, we can't go for those really, really big, like, fake out plays because it's terrain, but I can go for struggle book, super effective on the entity. Uh, also a lot of AoE damage. I don't think I really need uh, Icy Wind. Like, do you guys think I should Icy Wind here and then Struggle Bug? Because, like, it, it depends on if he kills my Raichu this turn. Like, he's probably going for a big Water Attack here. And I don't want to switch in either of those. That, that was the only reason why before I would have been good. I'll just go for a Struggle Bug this turn. And I guess I'll try and Light Screen. Because if he's Modest, this does outspeed. He's going to go Focus Energy. I mean, he could go for it. Oh, I might redeem your free Cherish Ball course slot. Oh, that's a good idea. There's the following. Yeah, he could totally focus energy. I mean, I'm, I'm relatively okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. So, like, this light screen is going to be big useless against the Inteleon. But there are other Pokemon on that guy's team. So, light screen's wasted. 
Uh, I think Frostmoth is still going to be able to like bulk this out. And remember, we do have a Dragapult, so we're just doing this mace basically to deal good good damage to the Entity. But we'll see. We're probably just going to lose this one. I don't think we can actually eventually. I don't think we can break that thing. Depends on who he realistically wants to hit too, doesn't it? No real need to icy wind ever. I mean, I could icy wind to make it so he's slower eventually, but like. Hmm. Yeah, I'll icy win this turn. Might as well just go for this. You might as well force to follow me. Let's go. Yeah, so not even as good as the regular bodies, you're right. Yeah, good. This is actually a really, really good play for me. Oh, not a good play. Almost a good play. Look at me making almost good plays. Oh, just taking the big miss. I'll take that. Lightning rod there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hard switch that, I think. Hmm. I might actually, I'm probably just going to Dynamax my Frostmoth and go for an Overgrowth here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. And then I'll probably just hard switch into like Incineroar or something. The Icy one's really good though, because if he wants to take this time to like Airstream, he's still going to be super behind. I think I might actually switch into Incin, because I think Dragapult's going to be like crazy value later on in the game. Because, like, I really think the Dragon Arts can just come in and deal really big damage with that Raichu. Frostmoth was bad. No, Frostmoth's really okay. It's really okay. It, I was just... I don't know. I always thought it was bad, too. But, like, I think it was bad because... Let's think about the situations in which we thought it was bad. We thought it was bad back when Titar Exodrill was everywhere, right? I think the meta's slowed down enough. A little bit. To where, like... You know, Melodic... Uh, what is that? Primarina, even Venusaurs, and Kellyons, all those Pokemon, the, the rise of special attackers, and the, the less of the reliance on Incineroar, Arcanine, Titar, Excadrill, makes Frostmoth a lot better. But we've also, yo, thank you for the follow as well. We've also shown that, like, we can eat really, really big fire attacks. Like, this, this Airstream is not gonna do that much damage, and it's gonna crit. It's gonna crit us through the light screen, through all everything, and we're probably just gonna live it, so. And then we're gonna like Oko him with a freaking super overgrowth thing. So he's back at neutral now. Let's see what he does. Yeah, that doesn't do shit. Nice crit, Chief. Nice critical hit. Yeah, you like that? And nice sniper critical hit. Right, let's see it. Let's see how much damage we actually do here. There's a light screen. Oh, he popped a light screen. Never lucky. Yo, we have the same idea. Great minds think alike. Let's see how much damage this actually does. Runt does over half. That's okay. Should we just hit him again? Let me actually think about how I want to play this. I actually don't care if he takes up my Incin. Like, if he does, he does whatever. Actually, I can fake out that Raichu this turn. Yeah, I'll do that. Just so I don't die. I would not... I'd like him to not, like, nuzzle me or something. Because we just we just did reset the terrain. Do you have extra Ice Scale Snobs? Uh, I don't. This is, like, like my only one. I wonder if he's actually going to switch in. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to Overgrowth here, and I think I might actually just Lariat that slot. This slot, in case he wants to go Max Guard Entity switch in. Yeah. I, as much as I, I'd like the extra Fake Out, because like, I don't really want to eat like a Nuzzle, I think it's okay. I can probably breed some, though. Yeah. It's almost like I played the game. Show me that Entity Chief. And you can totally go for like the Nuke on my Incineroar if he wants, but I think he's like Max Guarding. We'll see. And now it's a powered up, um, what is it? It's a powered up one. He's going to Geyser Mine Sin. That's completely fine. Because he, he can't break the, uh, the Frost Moth of this thing. Yeah, it's just, oh, that's another crit. It's, oh, it's 100% crit ratio right now for the Focus Energy. So we're going to be able to KO him here. And then we still have one more turn of Dynamax left. We can actually send out our Dragapult and go for like an Airstream if we want it. Perfect. Frostmoth busted. It's a hard check to two out of the three starters, and it tunnels the Cinderace super hard. So, like, I think it's I think it's actually a pretty solid mon use right now. Yeah, Giga Drain's really nice on this thing. It really speeds up uh, the way to deal with water types, and then, like, you can actually just Giga Drain, um, you know, to make it so you live for Ava. It's a little bit faster than me. Raichu. I just did reset the terrain, so Raichu would be nice. Let me think about this. He has screens up. He's gonna send out 
a Raichu. I'm thinking about what I actually want to get done. I think I'm just going to send his Raichu. I'm going to send my Raichu out. Yeah. Because if he can't ever use, like, an electric attack against my Frost Moth, like, I don't care. Yeah, this, that's really good. That's probably the best thing I've ever seen. I'm just going to Airstream it. Ooh, Hailstorm would probably KO, but the Airstream is really value, too. I don't need the Airstream. I think Hailstorm's better in case he decides to switch to the Raichu. Yeah, it's actually way better because he can follow me here. I probably should just be fake outing the NUD and going for an airstream on the Venusaur. But we'll see. Remember, I still have Pult in the back, so just we need to. We just need, oh, yeah, this is so much better the fact that I'm hailstorming here because he's switching out for Raichu, expecting me to airstream. And that's golden. And remember, you're Psychic Train doing anything, yo. Yo, Pulse. Oh, that's not that bad. I mean, he's still going to take a lot of damage here. He has a light screen up, but, like, I, I don't think that those three Pokemon can beat, like, a grassy terrain Frostmoth. Maybe. It's hard to say, really. You have to get some big sleep powders. And again, like, I'm going to set my screens back up, too. Like, we both have, like, big screens, Raichu. All right, so it looks like my Raichu's faster than his. Or we want a speed tie. Let me actually think of what I want to do. I don't really want to go for anything else. Eventually, he's going to get ticked out. Yeah, eventually. He has Heal Pulse, though. That's the only issue that's, like, a problem, I would say, is that he has Heal Pulse. So it's, like, that his Raichu can get a lot of value. But, like, right now, what is his Raichu going to do? He can't nuzzle. Um, I just want to see his turns on screens. So he still has two turns left on his light screen. I still have three turns left on my light screen. I don't need to pop a Reflect. So there's nothing, really, that my Raichu should be doing in this matchup. Um, but I don't know if I want to switch it out. Because, like, I don't want to switch in. I wonder if I even... I don't really need a Struggle Bug either. Sorry, I don't need to use um, Icy Wind. I think I'm just going to go for the Struggle Bug, and I'm going to switch in my Dragapult. Because after the Struggle Bug, they'll be within range for darts, I think. We'll see. Maybe I should have Icy Wind, so I could have gotten Icy Wind darts. We'll see. There's no reason for... Like, he could fake out my Moth, but, like, what's he doing with the... Uh, He's just going for Heal Bolts, right? Yeah. So, like, this is a completely free turn. I might even just switch out. I think I will actually just switch out my Frostmoth for, um... Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. Switch out my Frostmoth for Raichu to get a Lightning Rub proc. And just go target... Well, maybe not target a Phantom Force, but I'll probably just go for a Darts. I think it's fair. About it. I kind of want to just go for attacks, but like, this is fair. I think you don't. Yeah, I'm darting here. Because, like, you need to get damn. Actually, I should just probably be dragon dancing, shouldn't I? Like, what's he gonna do if I switch my Raichu in? It also let me give me a fake out. Yeah, dragon dance is way better here. Dragon dance is, like, way better here. Nice night, we're Master Ball, too. That's what we're doing. Yeah, DD is Pog here, too. I forgot I had it. Forgot I had it. Yeah, dance is like the soft. No thunder waves, no nuzzles. Um, like, what are you really going to psychic me? He's not using follow me because he's expecting the darts. But one big dance is like really, really big. Nuzzle? Never heard of it. Yeah, that right can do shit. So I want to see. He's going to psychic me. Or like mystical fire or something. Yeah. It shouldn't do that much damage though. Doesn't do shit. I have a light screen up. All right, and now we do it. Probably just going to fake out the entity and do it. Might even one-shot his Raichu. I gotta wait through all the ticking animations. What is this, Gen 5, Gen 4 OU? Okay. You'll love to see. Hey, we're playing pretty well here. Playing pretty well here. All right, I just want to check a couple. The opposing lights are off. Awesome. And I still have one more turn on my screens. I think I am just going to fake out the Entity over there. Actually, do I even want to fake out the Entity? Or should I be going for, like, a Volt Switch? Thinking he might switch. That'd be pretty pog. No, I'm not going to do that. I think there's Darts. Fake out the Entity because that's the only one that can actually deal damage. Probably doesn't have Protect. If it does, his Raichu's going to get target, double targeted. So I think we're doing, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing all right. 
Let's see, is we're trying? Yeah, I could have went for the Volt Switch there. He's gonna take a lot of damage. Dan Hardy, how's it going? Yeah, the really good thing is, even if he brings his Raichu out, like, he can't fake out my Pult, and the Pult is the Pokemon that's exuding, like, a ton of pressure right now. We get free damage here. That thing's dead. This thing's within KO range. Yeah, it's just game. Just pop, pop, pop. Darts for days, yo. And we're gonna get the W. We're gonna get the dub. With Frostmoth. Frostmoth just grinded that Sniper Inteleon. Guys, we ate that Airstream. It did like 30% crit Airstream off of a Sniper Pokemon. Do you guys like understand how like crazy that is? That's absolutely nuts. Now we'll take the wins. Dude, this, that Inteleon, or what is it? We should do... Does Terrain Extender work if you like set it with a max move? Like, I'm curious. Uh, no real re no real move that I should be using in this situation. Might as well pop a light screen. Because this will KO. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's see, it's Quick Claw. Quick Claw, Venusaur, Soup Powder, Pog. Follow me, that will not work. Can't believe how well it took that airstream? Yeah, hey man, it's almost like Froth Moss plays the game. And it was a timid one, though. It was timid because it was outspeeding our Raichu, but, uh, yeah. I mean, Frostmoth dope. Frostmoth, Frostmoth busted. Big white screens. And so, yeah, this team can totally work in ranked. You just have to be able to... You just want to... You have to play the patient game. Oh, did it take both hits to do that? Wait, why didn't my second hit go into the Venusaur? I didn't know that's how that mechanic worked. I actually didn't know that. I did not know that's how the mechanic worked. So, like, if you follow me, the second hit doesn't go into the next month. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. It didn't take two hits. Yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot that. Oh, well. We're still going to win. <laughs> I still don't see a scenario in which we lose. But, uh, actually, we might still. We might lose. But I don't think we will. I forgot that's how that worked. He's going to go fake out and nuke, start duping down my right shoe. But, like, what am I going to do about it? I think Frostmoth is still, like, super value here. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Or he's going to try and put me to sleep. All right, so that's first turn, Dragapult, sleep. I wonder if he's going to try and, like, go after the Pult. Earth Power into the Pult? Or the Raichu? It won't KO. Yeah, we got screens for days. I'm going to switch my Raichu out. He can sleep if he wants, but then I just get to switch it back in and go for, like, potential uh, fake-outs to give you some more time. And we're not really worried about Nuzzle being asleep. He should be trying to kill the Pult. I agree. Yeah, I did not know Follow Me did that with both of them. I mean, it completely makes sense. It's just never lucky, right? Let me get that wake-up, yo. Let me get that wake-up, yo. Dragon Ball Sleep, never lucky. He's probably going to try and nuke it this turn. I wonder if he's going to Volt Switch into it. Light Screen? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, Frostmoth is still, like, super scary. That's, like, the thing. He can go totally go, totally go for, like, a light screen. Sludge Bomb my Pult. He should be Earth Powering it, shouldn't he? All right, let me think about this exactly. I'm gonna go for an Icy Wind, because it will probably KO the Venusaur here. And he has to, like, Sleep Powder, which gives my dark, uh, my Dragon Ball time to, like, wake up. And if he does KO the Pult, I can just bring in my, uh... Okay, I just win. Uh, I was gonna say, if he did KO the Pult, I'm just bringing the Raichu, get the Fake out, and then we win the game. Awesome. One, two, three. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, he gets one more turn. You get one more turn. Nuzzle? Nice. He did it, chat. He got his nuzzle. But it's okay. I see one from downtown. He should have earth powered the pole. I agree. It wouldn't have KO'd, but he should have. He should have earth powered the pole last turn. It would not have KO'd, but he still should have done it. I think he thought I was switching in my Frost Moth that turn. So that's the only uh, benefit of the doubt that we can give him. But we take the wins, yo. Frost Moth entered Espeon, Goldwork, and Flygon. This guy's Flygon, which means we've already won. One really good thing about his team is Espeon, Hydreigon, and Teleon. Those are really, really big special attackers. So our Assault Vest Ice Scales Frost Moth is going to be so good. I bet I can just eat that Hydreigon Flamethrower. I bet I could just eat it. So what this team really wants to do is we want to lead Frostmoth Raichu more often than not. More often than not, 
um, we want to lead Flygon Raichu. You say Flygon Weakness Policy Tele Nash Shard. That's why you're leading Raichu, so you can fake out. But Raichu has higher base speed than almost all of those Pokemon. The only one that doesn't have higher base speed is, is the Intelligence. So we can fake out the teammate, set some speed control, and then from there, set screens, and then win the game. Uh, we're going to bring Dragapult in the back. That's our big Dynamax mod. And I think you probably do want to bring the Incineroar just because the Hydreigon is a little bit scary. Uh, not really going to need Vaporeon in this matchup, especially because of those like Magic Bounce and stuff like that from the Espeon. Um, not really going to want to bring the Alcremi. I know Alcremi really good against like Flygon and uh, Hydreigon, but I really think this team needs a little bit more damage dealers. So bringing our big weakness policy in Cinderor, bringing that Intimidate, bringing a second fake out user, it's probably going to be for the best. Also, in Cinderor is really, really good versus like that goal work and stuff. So let's see, Bear Tick Hydreigon popping it off literally. I wonder if it's going to be like, who am I realistically fake outing? Do I actually even need to fake out? That's the question. I don't think I really need to fake out. I mean, I can go for an Icy Wind here. I wonder if I actually even want to fake out, or if I just want to set a screen. Because, like, I could fake out the Hydreigon if it's Scarfed, right? I can Light Screen if I think it's Spec, so let me eat that Flamethrower. Uh, I can Reflect to potentially block Rock Slide damage from my Frost Moth. That's four times, so it's like, I think I'm actually just going to... I think I'm just going to fake out the Bear Tick for this first turn. No, I'm going to fake out the Hydreigon. Um, if Bear Tick has Rock Slide, Bear Tick has Rock Slide. That's fair, right? So we're going to see when he flinches. If he flinches he flinches right now, what does that really tell me? Icy Wind. So at the very least, Raichu is now outspeeding what would be even a Scarf Hydreigon. That's a lot of damage as well. Even though Frostmoth doesn't really have any special attack investment, we still are stabbing that Icy Wind, which means we do a ton of damage with it. That's not a zero speed moth. It's not. Superpower. That's amazing. How's it going? It's going absolutely flawless absolutely flawless now let's see what we really want to do here um now we already have a speed drop on the hydro ground which means we probably should be outspeeding um let me think about this i think i'm going to struggle bug to lower the hydro special attack even more and i'm probably going to volt switch i want to be able to reset my fake out and i want to be able to come in with my incineroar to get intimidate up on the bear tick so you can see why well, do nuzzle because of this situation i don't really have to fodder my raichu i'd much rather value resetting my fake out than just going for a para here when i don't really need to para because i already have speed control right i already have the speed control so i can come in here wear up a really really good intimidate we now have an intimidate we have an icy wind drop and we're gonna get a struggle bug off so and we also have the potential to come back out and set screens you like do you understand how this team's supposed to really work mitigating all that damage i think it's super super cool and we're using really really unique pokemon to do it so struggle bug again another move that's very weak uh we don't need to get the ko's but we do stab it and deal really really big damage even off a of base 50 move it's either 50 or 55 so special attacks up intimidates up hyper beam yo these guys absolutely popping off what are the EVs on the defensive right you? Uh, it's super simple. It's just, look at this. Look at that Hyper Beam. Look at it. Look at the Hyper Beam. <laughs> oh, super power. Yo, really, really good read right there. But again, the Intimidate is going to bail us out. That's super cool. And you know what? That's super power. It's okay. Super power. We take weakness policy, boys and girls. Weakness policy. Um, yeah, the EVs on the right you super simple. Just HP special attack because you still need that 110 base speed to be able to outspeed the common threats and set your screens. So we're in a really good spot here. Um, it doesn't realistically matter what I do. I might as well just go for a Giga Drain Might KO there. I think these both have 100 accuracy, right? Oh, it's so good. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the Struggle Bug. Let me think about this. Um, Giga Drain should probably KO this Bear Tick. And he's super weak right now anyways. And then I'll probably just... Ooh, I could Drain Punch the Bear Tick. Yeah, I'll do that. Because it has a little bit more health left. So we're just going to go for a Struggle Bug. And we're just going to go for a Drain Punch on the Bear Tick. Remember, we got our Weakness Policy proc. Might as well get a little bit of health out of it. Uh, we should still be out outspeeding the Bear Tick, considering my Frost Moth does. Oh, no! I forgot! That's, that's an AoE move. I messed up. I should have I Air Slashed. Whoops! A little bit of a misplay there. Uh, I forgot that Frost Moth is just the damage. Yeah, it was a 13 damage Hyper Beam, guys. 13 damage. And people think, like, Hyper Beam is really bad on Hydreigon. It's actually not that bad, because Hydreigon can't really apply speed control. Uh, it doesn't get, like... Air streams or anything like that. Being able to go for a really, really big max strike when you're Dynamaxed is actually not a terrible idea. It's actually not terrible. So that's the Pokemon that's the biggest problem. Um, let me actually think about how I want to deal with that Pokemon. It's, I guess, I guess we're okay with this. I think I'm like, do I just really want to let the Incineroar go down and just come in with my Dragapult and be fine? Let me think about it. I might even want to max and go for like something there. Let me see. I'm just going to Icy win this turn. The thing is, the thing that sucks is like, I guess I could save my Sin. But, like, what would that realistically get me? 
We have Dragapult. I don't really want to Dynamax it. That's like the thing. And if I switch in Raichu, Raichu will just die. I'll be able to smite Dragapult in for free. Do I care more about my... Inc I think I'm just going to keep the Incineroar in. And just go for a Lariat onto the Inteleon. I'll see what goes. He's going to Dynamax this turn. Oh, Snipeshot. So no, no Dynamax. That's fine. I show weakness policy. It's completely fine. Yeah, that doesn't do shit. The power of Vest. Yeah, you can totally go for it. Uh, we're probably going to lose our... Actually, we're going to live. It's Earth Power. Flygon's weakest Pokemon. I've told you guys that time and time again. Flygon is the weakest Pokemon ever created in the history of the game. Look at that. It's so weak. It does no damage with super effective moves. Against my Incineroar that doesn't have bulk. We have like full offense and sin. And then he gets one-shotted by a base 55 move. Like, from a Pokemon that has zero investment. From a Pokemon that has zero investment. And then we win. The power of Frostmoth. We take those. <laughs> give me give me the wins. Give me the Frostmoth. I think Frostmoth is still pretty nice here. Frostmoth with screens. So like you still want to lead with your Raichu because you fake out his fake outer. Right now he's he's not looking at my like he's not looking at his Togemaru saying like, yes, I have lightning rod. He's looking at my Raichu and thinking like fuck that Raichu outspeeds me, right? So I can fake out him first. There's so many things that I can do first. So I think we're gonna go Raichu Frostmoth. And I wanna go like screens. I know he has screen cleaner on the Mr. Rhyme, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. Uh, we have to go Dragapult still. And I don't think Vaporeon's good because he has the Gastro and the Mantine. And I don't think Incineroar's good because, again, Gastro and Mantine, so we're probably just going to go all Kremlin here. Awesome. And Mantine's pretty good. Uh, it's They're pretty much using Mantine the same way that, like, you know, I'm using... It's like, Mantine's like a mix of, like, the Alcremi and the Vaporeon, right? It's, it uses like Icy Winds, Roost, Scalds, it gets Wide Guard. Uh, I think Mantine also gets Tailwind, if I'm not mistaken. So Mantine's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let me think about what I want to do in this situation. Because we can trade Fake Outs. I think I am just going to trade Fake Outs. Actually, like, I can Fake Out the Togemaru. And, yeah, I'm going to Fake Out an Icy Wind. And then I'll probably just set a screen. Yeah. Mantine gets roost. It does, yeah. He does have water, so it also gets swift swim. Well, Vaporeon's not good because it can't make contact, right? So the thing is, it's like, if Vaporeon had, like, Toxic or Ice Beam, maybe we'd be able to get something. Oh, is that a... He used roost first turn. So that tells me that might not be the correct ability Togemaru. I don't want my Frostmoth to just eat, like, a freaking huge attack here. Lefties, man. That is really weird. I don't want to eat, like, a steel attack. I don't want to switch in either. I think I'm going to just reflex so I know I can eat it. And I think I'm going to go for one more Icy win. Because he can't go for electric attacks right now. And I don't want to eat, like, an Iron Head and just die. But, like, if I get a Reflect off, I'll probably be alright. And I don't think I want to Airstream yet. I might, like... Oh, we'll see. We'll see. This is a this is a weird lead. Probably Weakness Policy Mantine. Uh, I don't think that's the sauce. Yeah, we saw lefties. Yeah, which, uh, switch that guy out. Uh, is it... What's he bringing in? Charizard? I'll take that. So, I'm wasting a Reflect here. I, I think I am. He's probably going to switch out the Mantine for Togemaru next turn, so I'm probably actually just going to Light Screen and use Icy Wind to... I don't need an Icy Wind again. First time joining the stream, yo, welcome to the stream, my friend. Big Mantine, holy crap, yo. Okay, so you're useless. I don't think that that, like, KOs. Holy Big Mantine. He's not switching out now? Yeah, I, but he could switch his art out, you know? Reflex really wasted. Actually, we don't have this physical special, so... This, this Vortex will not do anything. That Mantine's like slower than me now. Slower? So slow. You're too slow. Airstream. Okay. That's fine. I'm completely fine with this. That doesn't do any damage. Mantine is so pog. It's not as pog as Frost. Don't make me Dynamax my Frost Moth and fight you, Chief. I'll do it. We just have to sit here, I think, and just use Icy Wind for a hot minute. Like, we're gonna Icy Wind. Um... You like have to look icy when he gets your screen up. Because he's going to switch in the Togemaru. And I don't want to switch in on that. 
I guess I could switch out my Frost Moth for Pult this turn, because we're setting a screen, but like if I switch it out and get crit, that's big, not good energy. Nah, this is fine, actually. I should be able to get away with it. Let's go. Yeah, Frost Moth is, took like no damage. It's Assault Vested with full special D investment. It's like really good. There we go. So Mantine has historically, I was talking about Mantine a little bit yesterday, how Mantine and Skarmory technically are like the same Pokemon, right? Skarmory has that big defense, Mantine has a big specialty. They have, this, they have the same stat line, except for they're flipped on their uh, defense and specialty. So this is pretty much like a specialty Skarmory. Yep, shouldn't do a ton. The Power of Light screen's pretty good. All right, uh, let me actually think about what I want to do here, because I can KO the Togemaru and just Bolt Switch. Volt Switch won't KO the uh, Mantine. Let me think about what I want to do here, because like, Dragapult would get KO'd. Actually, Dragapult can live one more Airstream. Togemaru is at plus one speed, though, isn't he? Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a problem. I'm going to stay in here. I'm actually going to go for a Volt Switch into the Mantine. And I'm actually just going to Dynamax and go for a... Just go for a Phantom Force. Or Max Phantasm. I don't think Dragapult will gave from here. Now I'm not gonna channel a Phantom Force, because there's it'd just be it'd be a little bit wasteful, I think. But I wanna get the Togemaru off the board so my Raichu can start like actually doing its job. Uh, if he wants to go for like a what is it, a spiky shield or some shit. Um, like I'm wasting a little bit of time, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think this guy can beat our Frost Moth. But we'll see. Nuzzle. Yeah, I got a I got a Raichu on the board, Chief. I think he thought I was going to switch. But yeah, we'll take that. Lightning Rod's up. Give me that special attack boost, boys and girls. So this is going to KO. And then since there's no longer a Lightning Rod on the board, we're going to be able to go for an absolutely massive. That's a plus one boosted Volt Switch. It's not going to KO the man team, but it's going to do a lot. It's going to reset my fake out. Remember, we have dual screens up. So when the Charizard decides to come back, we can always check that. Yeah, man team, like I said, huge specialty. Good morning, my guy. I hope to leave. today is great. Today is flawless. And I'm going to bring the Alcrema in. Get him, Alcrema. He's probably going to be air streaming, but I still think Pult without speed, even at plus one. Geyser? Okay. He's Geysering the Raichu slot. I just do anything. Light screen's pog. Alright, so let me have to think about how I want to do this. It's his last turn max. He's used two air streams, right? Two airstreams. How's it going, War Broker? Secret key. Welcome. So I can KO that Mantine right now. Let me think about what I, if I want to. Who's using that on the opponent? Hmm. But yeah, I've used a lot of Mantine. I've used a lot of Mantine in 2018. I felt Mantine Heatran was like one of my favorite cores in that year. This Zard's like big nothing. I don't even have to go after it. So I can just go for a nuke on the man team. Let me think about what I want to do here, though. You might as well just go for the decorate, but it's such a waste. Because we don't need it, you know? I'll still do it. Let's go. This, the reason we're doing this is because we get the Quick Claw off, but he still protects. We want to KO through the defense drop. So if he protects and we get the Quick Claw proc, we'll still have enough damage to KO through the protect. Deagum chip useful. I think the deck rate's a little bit better in case he rocks protecting the Mantine, and he might actually have protect because he has leftovers, right? We've seen Airstream, we've seen Geyser, uh, we've seen Roost. Uh, that could have been like a max guard user, but he could have just had protect in this last spot. And I want to be able to, again, it would have KO'd. Thank you for the bits, Danger919 for you and fine. Big bits up. There's nothing really useful that, like, uh, I can do with the Dazzling Gleam that I can't do next turn. Uh, any good item on a T-Tar except weakness policy? Yeah, I just made a brand new video yesterday talking about my top 10 competitive items. Um, I think that Sash is good. I think Lumberry is good. I think Assault Vest, Choppleberry, Expert Belt, Choice Band. Those are all really good items on a Tyranitar. Lumberry T-Tar is scary. I agree. Uh, I think I might actually just max guard here and use a second decorate and just go for a plus four darts how's that sound chat i think it sounds pretty pog 
Yes, yeah, Sash Ninjak with Sword Chance Baton Pass. That's the that's the golden oldie. Yeah, ABT Tar is really good. Shininja getting Sword Stance would be a little bit busted. Because there's there's situations that Shininja can force people to uh, have to leave. And so he gets a free Sword Stance. Can we do like a uh, Shadow Sneak? Shininja has a pretty decent base attack stat. I think it's 90. So it's actually not that bad. They can't give Shininja those boosting moves. It'd be a little bit busted. Shininja's already busted considering he like doesn't take damage from things. You know he's going after this thing. You know it. We both know it. Protect. Lamau. I'm not attacking your gas drone, Chief. Hurricane, go for it. Yeah, that's all you, my guy. Oh, value. Oh, value. Where that's a plus four. This dragon dart's going to deal that big damage. All right, do you want to go plus six? We haven't even got a quick claw proc yet, chat. We have not even gotten a quick claw proc yet. Look at this dragon pull. All right, we got to go that's a plus six. Chat, quick claw, activate. I could totally uncle that gastrodon. I want the decorate. I want it. Give me my quick claw. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Quick claw. Get him. That's a plus six. Let's go. Come on. I want it. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to read an inch ass. You could taunt it. You could. It always has to baton pass, right? So on the turn of baton passes, you gotta KO what it sends out. He goes for the double. That ain't it, Chief. That is not it. And I didn't get my Quick claw proc. We're never lucky. Never. I didn't need it, but like, absolutely never lucky. Delete. Give me a crit. He's like, oh, I only died because of the crit. You know? <laughs> I like this team. This team's pretty dope. The hard Dragapult carry just makes Dragapult like a massive cannon that just goes like, ba-boom, ba-boom.